I have a couple of how to's on my blog. This one here is one of them. It's a how to that shows you how to create your own certificate with uh, OpenSSL. Now, uh, I've had several questions uh, regarding this procedure since I published it, and uh, some of them also asked me to make a video. So that's what I'm doing here. Now, the procedure that I followed here on my how to, it's uh, done on Linux with uh, OpenSSL on Linux. But I've also had a couple of questions regarding Windows, so this time uh, I'm making the video on a Windows machine. So normally, when you're uh, on your Linux machine, you can just type open SSL and then uh, the command will execute. If not, then you install the package through your uh, package manager like uh, yum or uh, apt-get. Here on Windows, I downloaded the binaries that were referenced uh, on the OpenSSL page. So I downloaded and uh, installed them using the, the default installs. And before I can use uh, OpenSSL here on Windows, I also have to define two environment variables, which I'm going to do here now. So first of all, you have to point to the place you, where you can find the OpenSSL configuration. So this is in the OpenSSL Win32 folder, bin OpenSSL.cfg. So that's the first variable. And the second variable is the location of uh, the RAND file. And I'm going to put it here in the demo, sorry, in the demo folder, .rmd. like this. <clears throat> and now I can start uh, OpenSSL. So OpenSSL bin OpenSSL like this. And you can see here OpenSSL is running. So what we are going to do is create some certificates. But we are not just going to create a, a code signing certificate. We are going to make one with a, a, a hierarchy and, uh, and the chain and all the commands that are necessary for that. So we are going to have a, a, a root CA, a root uh, certificate authority, and then also an intermediate uh, authority. So the first thing we are going to do is uh, to generate a key. So with uh, GenRSA, I will call this CA dot key and I'm going to create a 4096 six, uh, bit key. Now here this is just a demo but if you are going to use that uh, for production for example you want to protect your keys because they are very important and then you are going to uh, put a password on them. For example with the uh, option this three and this will encrypt the password with the DES3 algorithm. Now in this example, I'm not going to do this. So I just issue this command. And now the, gener uh, the private key is being generated and saved on disk with file name ca.key. So that's the first step to create a private key of our uh, root ca. Next, I'm going to make a self-signed certificate. So I request a new X509 certificate. It will be valid for five years. So that's 1,826 days. The key that we just generated is ca.key and the certificate can be stored in file.ca.crt. And then we have to provide some information that will be included in the certificate. So country code is Belgium. The state or province name is Brussels and the locality name is also Brussels. 
as an organization uh, name I'm going to use the name of my company Didier Stevens Labs I'm not going to provide an unit name and I'm going to provide a common name so I will just call this Didier Stevens Labs.com like this and as email address I have Didier at DDSTevensLabs.com Okay, and now we have created our self-signed uh, certificate. If we look into the folder here, we can see the CSCRT and the CA key file uh, that have been generated. So now not up to the intermediate. So for that we also need a key. In file intermediate authority key file and also 4096 bits. The key is being generated. Okay, that's done. And now we are going to create a certificate. But this time we are not going to create a self-signed certificate. We are going to create a certificate that is signed by the root authority, the one that we created first. So for that, we have to uh, make a certificate signing request, which we do with uh, this command. Request new. The key is the intermediate key. And uh, out is the certificate signing request. So Belgium, Brussels, Brussels, again Didier Stevens Labs. The uh, OU here, I'm going to say code signing. And the common name now is code signing Didier Stevens Labs.com. Now be careful when you do that that you don't use the same common name for your root CA and your intermediate CA because if you do that you will get an error at the end. Email address Didier at Didier Stevens Labs.com. And I'm not going to protect this with a password, but again, in a protection environment, you would do this with a password. No optional company name. Okay, so this is the request that had been created. And now I'm going to process that request and produce a certificate, an intermediate certificate that is signed by the root cert uh, certificate authority. So it's an X509 command. I'm going to have a certificate that is valid for two years. So as input we have the certificate request here, the CSR. We have to tell what the CA is and where the CA key is located. I'm choosing to set the serial number of 01 and finally the name of my certificate CIA.CRT. Like that. So, and now the certificate has been created. So, if you have a look here, you also have the request, the key, and the certificate for the intermediate authority. Now, as a last step, we are going to package all this in uh, a PKCS12 format. So, command is PKCS12. We are going to export this in file IA.p12. The input is the intermediate key. And we are going to make sure that we have a chain. So 
the intermediate certificate chains up to the root certificate like this now since we are creating a file here that also contains a private key again you can protect this with a password but i'm not going to do this here but again in production it is recommended like this so and that's all that's uh, to it to create your certificates now let's have a look here these are all the files that uh, have been created and uh, all those files the CRT, key CRT, CSR all those files are actually uh, ASCII files so you can have a look CSRT here this is the certificate that is encoded here uh, in base64 uh, and you can do that for all those files except for the pkcs12 file because that is a binary file in windows you can also double click uh, those files so this root certificate you can double click it like this and then you can see the certificate here with the information you see five years you can decide to install your certificate here you have the details and the certification path same thing for the intermediate two years install the certificate details certification path and then here the pkcs12 file when you double click that you are uh, presented with a certificate import wizard that allows you to import the certificates and the private key uh, into your stores so that you can use it to do code signing.